So have you been wondering who is God? Why it's so important for me to gain this relationship? And how can it help me to live this life? Or I feel that I need to rededicate my life to Him and really understand this true relationship. Well, if you've been wondering, asking yourself these questions, then you need to listen to this video until the end because it will help you to understand why it is so important for you to gain a full relationship with God. Well, let me tell you why it's so important for you to gain a relationship with God. So I was once in a place like you, feeling as if I had it all together. And I feel that I had enough of God in me that I had a full relationship. I knew that I needed to pray. I knew that if I spent some time, I went to church and I heard what they said about him. My relationship was fine, but I wasn't fully understanding about a relationship with God. I just thought as long as I was doing these things, I was meeting requirements just knowing God and getting myself together, right? I've been going to church all my life since I was a child, so I thought I had it all together. But let me tell you something. One thing I forgot that I had to grow a personal relationship with him. So I really didn't have it all together because I was thinking on my own self. I was making plans for myself and I wasn't really allowing God to take control of my life because I wasn't accepting things he was trying to do in my life. And there's a lot of times that we pull back from God and we try to say, no, this is what I want to do and I don't want to do it because I would have to change up everything and people are going to be looking at me like, why are you doing this? So let me tell you something. I want to read this scripture to give you some understanding. In Galatians 2, 19, I'm going to read the New Living Translation. It says, for when I tried to keep the law, it condemned me. So I died to the law. I stopped trying to meet all its requirements so that I might live for God. So when I was trying to keep the law, when I was trying to do what the world was doing, doing how the law was, it was criticizing me. It was always something up against me. Right? And I was trying to make life the way I thought it was going to be. Like, God's going to forgive me. God's going to understand me. God's going to allow me to do this, this, that. And then all I got to do is call on him when I want him. I didn't have that relationship with him, y'all. I had to understand that I wasn't meeting everything I need for this personal relationship. And that was allowing him to take control of my life. Because once I had said, Lord, I accept you as my own, that means I was allowing him to come in with me, come in my life, take control, lead me, guide me, show me, take things from me. To say, I want this relationship with you, Lord. Meaning, I want this whole personal relationship with him. When I finally said that I want to lose the things of the world and start gaining the things that God was giving me spiritually, okay? I had to accept that it was not my way, but I had to do God's way and accept the path he had for my life. So, why the relationship with God was so important. So I was able to navigate this natural better than what I was doing because I found myself always feeling like, why does it always seem that things are going wrong? Like I can't just get it right. I had everything lined up, thought I was doing everything I was supposed to, but no. One thing I forgot, I needed God. I just had a sprinkle of God because all I needed to do was call him when everyone, when everything was down. Not call him when everything was up because I'm all right. But I had to call just when I'm hurting. I need you to take away the pain, right? I was just calling with pain. But I need to call God all the time. I need to understand that I'm always under attack 
at all times when i'm up down in between why we need a relationship with god because god will always be there with us when no one else is there he sees when the enemy is coming when the enemy is getting ready to attack he will equip us so we are ready at all times the most thing that we need to understand that when we stay in prayer with him when we stay in communication with him God will allow us to know that he's coming after you. You need to be ready. Put this word up on you. Allow you to understand to put the whole armor. Why is it so important for you to have a personal relationship with him? So you can watch these spiritual attacks. And so he can keep your mind focused. Focus on him so you don't get off track. Of where he's trying to take you. You need a relationship with God. Because that is what's important. People may criticize you. But God is going to elevate you. Get a personal relationship with God. And watch what he do in your life. Y'all, I pray that this has blessed you. But before we leave, let me pray with you. Heavenly Father, we thank you. And Lord, we ask you to forgive us all our sins, Lord. Lord, allow us to gain a personal relationship with you, Lord. And Lord, allow us to grow closer and to you, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for just being you. Thank you for loving us, Lord. Lord, thank you for seeing us when we didn't see ourselves, Lord. Lord, we just glorify your name and we give you glory. In your son Jesus' name we pray, amen. Y'all, if you love content like this, please subscribe, please like, share your testimony. And y'all, in the description below, I have a free mini course of learning how to build a relationship with God. You ready to build that relationship with God? Go access it now. It is free. Y'all, join this Just T Promise Inspiration Channel to get more inspirational and get more content like this to help you on your spiritual journey with God. I pray that you all have a wonderful and blessed day or night, wherever you may be. May you all be blessed and blessings to you.